Hello everyone and welcome back to some more Rome 2 land battle action. We got a 1v1 for you here. This one has been sent in to us by Emperor Kandikatsu. And as always, we will go over the players on the field of battle, quickly go over army comps, and then we'll get right into it. But before that, uh, it appears that we have made a decision on the campaign, or rather the mod, that we will be playing next. We're going to be doing Rome 2, and the mod that uh, we're going to be using is going to be Divide et Impera, or Divide et Impera, however we decide to say it. Uh, so pray for me, <laughs> because... I'm not great. I'm, I'm not great at uh, DEI. Um, it's a fantastic mod. Don't get me wrong, it, it looks amazing. So many uh, unique units. Uh, more, his, I guess, historically accurate as well. Um, the battle aspect is completely different. All the armor values and whatnot are are different. Um, and you really have to be aware of walking your troops instead of running them because fatigue really plays a serious part uh and if your soldiers get too tired too quickly that will be a, a serious detriment to their overall performance of uh how they're going to work <clears throat> so i'm not too worried about performing well in the battles uh what i'm more concerned about is the economy and population and stuff like that uh it's a lot of information to take in uh i don't do well with a lot of information like with a lot of stuff being thrown at me like um if you've ever played stellaris like that like that much type of information like i i i love stellaris i struggle with it so bad but i really do enjoy it uh, and I, it's, I think it's going to be a little bit of the same with uh, DEI. Uh, not that the amount of information is on the same level as Stellaris, but even still, I think it's going to it's going to take us a bit for me to get the hang of it. But once I, I grasp it and understand what I'm doing and what I'm supposed to be doing, uh, I think we'll really be able to uh, make money hand over fist, keep people and provinces happy. Um, and, and do pretty all right. So we'll see. Um, next step is to pick a faction. So again, if you want to have a, a choice in what faction that I play in DEI, hop on in the Discord server. Uh, everyone who's in there currently is going to get the chance to select two factions that they would like. And then those two factions will go into the announcement section uh, and then everyone will get to vote on um, the list of, of factions that will be available. So, you know, let's say three people pick two apiece. That's six factions. They go up in the announcements, and then you can vote on what you want me to play as or who you want me to play as. Rather. Uh, so it should be interesting. But anyway, that's that. Uh, let's get into the army comps, shall we? We'll start over here with Lusitani. Lusitani is bringing for a general. We have Lusitani nobles, and they just brought a bunch of spear infantry, which, honestly, is a smart thing to do. Uh, back line, we have Lusitani spearmen, four units of Balearic slingers, unit of Skutari cav with a single silver chevron, bumps up their melee attack to 50, melee defense to 51, and morale to 62. Uh, we have a unit of Iberian skirmishers right here. Pretty cool. Uh, another unit of Skitari Cav. And then I think it's pretty much just Lusitani and Skitari spearmen for the rest of the army. Yeah, that's what it looks like. Yep, okay. So we'll see how this goes for Royal Scythia over here, who has two Scythian, or I should say four probably, right? Two Scythian noblewomen. And then we also have a Scythian Royal Skirmishers. Uh, the general is also a Scythian, Scythian Royal Horse. And then the rest are Step Noble Lancers all the way across. So, Shock Cav. Um, let's see, it's not, I think it's, is it them? Who gets, 
uh, what is it called? Drago? Uh, Scythian Royal Force stuffs, right? Uh, so they get this uh, ability called Draco, uh, reduces the effectiveness against mounted units of any nearby enemies for an extended time. Uh, it also gives a bonus for his cavalry, bonus for his elephants, and the bracing. So, <clears throat> it basically, it's a, it's a debuff for anybody, really, that's around the unit that can pop this. And it makes that unit less effective against Cav. Uh, obviously, specifically, a bonus for his cavalry and bonus for his elephants. So that definitely will come to play. I know they have other cab units that can bring Draco, that can equip it, obviously, because this is a Scythian War Horse. Um, but he did not bring any of that. So <clears throat> he brought a lot of shot cab. Hopefully, <clears throat> pardon me, I'm sorry. Uh, he'll be able to use these effectively enough. And oh, wow, it's a 23 minute battle, too. So that's, that's pretty long for a, uh, a land battle. But anyway. I'm rambling. Let's get into this. See what happens here. So, Royal Scythia is, uh, I mean, uh, obviously a unique fa faction. Um, much like, uh, what's the other, the other faction that brings only Cav? I don't remember. But they only bring Cav. The only time that they don't bring Cav is if you're doing uh, a, a sea battle. Or I should say, rather, a, a port assault battle. Uh, that's the only time that they actually have infantry units. <laughs> uh, so it kind of makes them not necessarily weak, but you can't, you, you can't bring, besides uh, ballistas, you can't bring siege equipment because uh, it's just it's all cav. Um, but what's nice about I'm sure DEI does this, and so does Radius uh, Mod, and I believe New World does as well. Uh, is Tony boxing up right now? I think he's pulling back his Katori cav. Uh, what's their, let's see, melee attack is 32, weapon damage is 34, melee defense is ugh, 4, not great, armor is 35, so yeah, definitely don't want these uh, noble women to get into combat, if you can help it. Yeah, compared to this Katari Cav, interesting formation here, I, I kind of, I dig it, got the Blaric Slingers coming over here, this might be a little bit of a debate. Uh, to entice the noblewoman to, to charge in. But so far, I'm I'm, I'm thinking of Satani's setup here. He pulled back a little bit, it seems like, and uh, yeah, I really like uh, the triple uh, X axes he's kind of got going on here. Pretty cool. Valeric didn't fire at all. I'm pretty sure they probably had the range, so they could have if they wanted to. Ooh, the Scythian Noble Woman have a pretty good have that 150 range too though, so they'd be trading pretty evenly. But armor's 35, what's theirs at? 25. So they'd be able to tank shots a little bit better. Although I'm I'm pretty sure that slingers do get a small armor penetration uh, value. But is still just kind of moving around, jockeying for position. All right, here we go. Royal City is really going to have to rely on hopefully Lusitani dropping the ball and gaps being left open so that he can slip Cav through and uh, get into the meat in the, in, in the back lines, so to speak. Taking some pot shots at this Qatari Cab, definitely not bad to go after. Already lost two units. And moving forward, some Mustani Spearmen. Honestly, nah, I don't know if that's a good idea. 
because yeah, now you're just going to be able to, he's splitting up his two units of noble women. They're going to be able to pepper them from either side. Skatari cats coming in though, but they're light enough that they'll be, they should be able to get away from the Skatari cab. I mean, they're medium melee cab, but again, the the noble woman should be a little bit faster. Nothing going on over here, just kind of focused on these units at the moment. He is slowly but surely getting rid of these uh, spear women, spearmen here. So 29 and 23. And yeah, he's just really moving around and peppering away at these guys. Love to see it. Gonna take some shots at the Skutari Cav. You know, all the spears aren't too, doing too hot. Honestly, I. Maybe three or four. Oh! Did they get. Oh, these guys got beat up. Really got peppered down. Down to 61 men left. No kills so far. They have 78. The Larics are down to 115, and the Spearmen are still hanging on. 80 and 80. They haven't lost anybody yet. They are taking fire, though, so I'm sure a few shots will land. But, I mean, look at this. Look how far out his Balearic is. I mean, this is a huge... I mean, he could, uh, even if he wanted to just jabate, right? Even if he just wanted to uh, cause a little bit of panic for Lusitani, he could take two of these units here and just charge them forward towards this gap and watch Lusitani scramble to close this up, get his Balearics back in the back line. And while that's happening, while he's moving back to close up this gap, that's, again, when you move in the Scythian noblewoman, shoot into the back of these spearmen to uh, chip away at them a little bit more. Oh my god, down to 50. No kills yet, down to 50. 71 kills, 59. Slingers are down to 106. Down to 74 of the Skatari Cav. And uh, yeah, I mean... He's not going to have ammo forever. What's their... 15. So they have as much as a, uh, a regular archer unit. So they actually have quite a quite a few rounds. Shots coming in, though. I would like to see one unit maybe move this way, and then you could fire into the side here, because it's their, their weapon arm. They won't be able to defend as, as well. I mean, they are losing, but uh, losing some some men there, but not at a, uh, a quick rate, because they're firing head-on. Slingers looks like they're going to move up, try and get some shots in. Again, I would still be trying to... Just scare them. I wouldn't actually commit to, to jumping into this gap because that's suicide. But to scare them, to make them shift around and move a little bit, I mean, hell, you might even be able to get them to completely isolate this force here by pulling these units around like this kind of uh, in, into this sort of uh, arching defensive line that he does kind of have. But this is such a huge gap right here that I, I would be trying to exploit this if I could. Not by charging in, but just by scaring them and, and seeing if I could isolate this force completely. And these Valerics are down to 110. They've lost 10 men already. 53 left for the Skatari Cav, and no kills. No, no, these three units don't have any kills yet. Royal Scythia is really playing a long game here. I mean, this spear unit is down to 32 men. Brought up another unit of spearmen. Slingers are firing away. They have 17 kills so far. They popped quick reload. Um, oh, wow. They even get precision shot. Uh, let's see. 77. You're down to 64. I mean, just the, the cab is being... Look, here, perfect... Perfect opportunity. Let's slow it down for a second. Cab is... Yes. Are you moving? Yes. Please tell me you're moving. Yes. Okay. Cab, uh, this is exactly what I was going to say you should do. Cab's being distracted by the Scythian noblewomen. Getting drawn away. Pulled away by the Scythian noblewomen. Leaving the spears here and these Balearic slingers completely undefended. It's going to charge forward these step noble lancers. But it seems like... Lusitani noticed what happened. He's going to come back around. But even still, I mean, this unit's right here. He could juke to go after them. I, this is more of a threat right here, right? 
We're going to get a big, 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 big charge. Big charge. Cool. I think I got some cool shots there. Um, I mean, this is definitely what you want to be going after. Now he's just going to keep going. Now he's going to keep running through everything. Pulling back out. Counter cab tactics have been popped. Hopefully he can get them out of there quickly enough. Ooh, Jabby's being tossed by the Skatari Spears. Here comes the Skatari cab right on in. On the heels of these Step Noble Lancers. They're pulling right on out. 94 kills so far. Down to 54 men. Not bad. Lustani Spearmen here are really getting beat up. Looks like they're going to be gone any minute now. Quickly rushing over the Lusitani Spears because he noticed that, hey, these Scythian Noble women are charging after these Polaric Slingers. That's exactly what I would do. Skatari Cavs coming right back over. But now, again, he's really masterfully... Uh, oh, no. They're getting beat up over here. 29 kills, and they're wavering. 31. Hopefully they come back before they reach the red line because if they hit that red line, they're gone. But he really, really doing a terrific job of distracting... Doing a little bait and switch over here with his Scythian noble women. Oh, that's rough. They're they're gone. That's unfortunate, but they did a pretty good job over here. 131 kills so far for the Step Noble Lancers. Getting rid of the Balearic Slingers. That's going to be pretty big. Hopefully, you can get rid of them completely. And there we go. Wasted some javelins on those uh, Scythian noble women. That's great. Step Noble Lancers are in the thick of it. They're not going to last for much longer going up against the Spear Unit and the Skatari Cav. This time Noble General is actually even coming over here. Uh, oh, good. They did come back. So, he's still just kind of roving around, peppering down the Blair Slingers. Definitely what, again, what I would be going for. You want to get rid of them as quickly as you possibly can. I mean, he only has three left. Actually, maybe, yeah, just two left, actually. The, the other ones, I, or no, he does have three left. Uh, the others are Iberian Slingers, or Skirmisher Slingers, Jesus. But, more importantly here, see how he's focusing a lot on the wings, on the flanks of Lusitani's front line, instead of just going right in. Super important to do this in land battles. Chipping away at the flanks is very effective and being able to make your enemy crumble into dust, right? Because if you just, obviously, and I'm sure I don't have to tell you guys this, but I'm going to say it anyway. If you just charge right in, even, I'm, you know, with, with uh, foot soldiers too, not just cab. Um, and you try and engage... At first, like the, the way that he's doing this, where he sends out the, the horse archers first and is really just harassing the flanks here. I mean, you remember what it looked like before we started this. Their front line was pretty solid looking. It looked like it was a, a very solid defensive position that he had his troops in. And now it doesn't kind of, it doesn't really look like that anymore, does it? And it's because he took his horse archers completely continued to harass the sides chipped away at them i mean look at this he's he's pulled away one two two of his his spear units from the front line to deal with this both of the skatari cav are over here to deal with this leaving i was just, literally just about to say it literally just about to say it leaving this right flank of lusitani's because it's the right flank if you're looking from their direction completely open. I mean, look, getting the Skatari cab, which is, is seems like he's doing right now, back over here is just a hop, skip, and a jump. It's quick and easy. It's not that bad. But even now, he's shifting these Lusitani spearmen around because he sees what is happening here. He sees that two more units from, from Royal Scythia are moving around. He's trying to set up a little bit better of a defensive line, but it's not going to be enough. At this point in time, his best option would be to new box it to box up and just hold the line that way against the step noble answers because i'm pretty sure most of if not all of these units here have counter cab tactics and as you can see shield screen as well 
So if he could new box it, and again, too, keep in mind that the Sithi Noble women are probably out of ammo, and they're almost dead, too, for that matter. 114 kills for that unit, by the way. And this one got... Ooh, what did this one get? I, I guess we'll find out after the... Uh, the... Uh, the battle. Um, but uh, Lusitani is spreading himself too thin. In a sense. Um, trying to defend against these many shock calves on all these step noble lancers is going to be it's, it's going to really test his ability at micro being able to I wouldn't say counter charge because it's kind of it's a moot point trying to counter charge had very heavy shot cap they just have all of that inertia that foot soldiers spearmen unless they're in shield screen they're not going to do that great charging right on in Going after Balerix as they were out front. But that was definitely a little bit of a debate on Lusitani's side. Counter cab tactics have been popped. And the uh, Scythian, yeah, they're, they're going. But they're taking the Balerix Slingers with them. Uh, but yeah, it, it's going to be tough for him to try and micro all of this. He can't counter charge them. Again, the best option for, for Lusitani, I think, at this point. Especially since they only have... Uh, Royal Sithi only has one unit left that is a skir like skirmisher cav, and they only have seven ammunition compared to the 15 that the Scythian uh, noblewoman had, right? It's to box it up. Box it up, tank all the shots that they're going to throw at you as much and as, as best as you possibly can, because you know that's what he would do if, if they did square up, um, right? Right? So if he ends up squaring up like this, the skirmisher cab isn't going to fire here. They'll probably most likely come over here and then fire into the back over here. You're just going to have to try and tank that as much as possible. If you can, if, if, if you can swing it and you can box up successfully and you still have one unit left, you know, wait to see what he starts firing on, and then that specific unit that you have left in the box, set them up behind whoever's getting shot at. Stack them back to back, and stack them on top of the ass end of said unit, so that they're co literally covering the asses of the unit that's getting shot. But here we go. <clears throat> Step normal answer is going to charge right on in. Um, I'm going to see what happens. Shield screen has been popped. They're going to be able to tank these a little bit better. You can see how they just kind of stopped a little bit. But even still, you see how many guys get knocked down. I mean, they're going to get back up eventually. But they got pretty demolished from that, even being in shield screen. Skatari Cab's coming on in. They're going to try and do what they can against. And now it's just all out. Here we go. So full on charge is going right on in. Skatari Spearmen aren't doing too hot initially at the moment, but if the shot cab are left in melee for a prolonged period of time, uh, they are going to start to take some serious losses, as we can see here. Down to 33, 32, 29. Balearic Slingers are getting on out of here. Step Noble Lancers are unfortunately getting routed, well not routed, but beat back by the Skatari Cab. They're going to try and pull out, but Skatari Cab are on top of them. Those tiny spearmen disappearing into the mist. And now we're just going to have some cycle charges. But really, really what he needs to do is get some of these Step Noble Lancers into the back and charge into the rear of these Skatari Spearmen. If it's, there we go. If he's going to have any type of hope of actually doing anything here. Counter Cab tactics have been popped on just about all of the spear units here. But really enjoyed seeing these Katari Spearmen charging against these Step Noble Lancers, but then also getting blasted in the behind uh, by this other unit of Step Noble Lancers. Sutani, the Sutani Nobles are in the thick of it. Headhunt has been popped as long with Battle Rhythm. That's going to give them a significant bump up to 89 for their melee attack. But once those two buffs go away, they're going to be pretty pretty tired and very susceptible to getting absolutely annihilated. 
Iberian Skirmisher is getting charged in, really getting smashed here. Scythian Royal Horse coming on in. Would love to see him pop Draco at some point and uh, really allow the Scythian uh, Cav to, to do their thing. Lots of routing going on from Lusitani. There we go. Draco has been popped, and these guys are going to start to seriously suffer some losses. Some spears are coming back. They're going to try and do what they can. Nice charge here from the uh, Skirmisher Cav. Right on inside. Didn't get that. Ooh, they have Draco too? Do they? Or did he just pop that again? I don't, I don't see it there. Maybe he popped it again already. Really? Huh. Interesting. Well, there goes the Skirmishers, and they're just going to keep on uh, riding right on in. Nice little jabby toss by Lusitani Spearman. 111 guys left in this unit, 38 kills. They're going to try and catch these Scythian Royal Skirmishers, and they probably will get there too, but whether or not they're going to be able to do anything, that's uh, left to be seen. Four minutes, 15 seconds left in this one, guys. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, comment, do all the cool YouTube stuff. Helps out the channel. Of course, I appreciate it as well. Here comes the Royal City in general. Going to charge right on in. Hopefully, it's into the rear. Yes, it is of these spearmen and nobles. Hopefully, we get a big, 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 big charge. Looks like Sakari Spears turning right around. Gonna try and charge into these guys, but he's pulling them out. Pulling them out. He's pulling them out. <laughs> and uh, I would imagine he's gonna continue to cycle charge. Balance of power is pretty even, actually. It's not bad, uh, but the Sakari Spears aren't doing too hot. They are starting to lose. Pulling out the Step Noble Lancers. Up to 159 kills, six guys, they're gone. Never mind. Uh, and then here we go. Oh, yes. This is the exact moment that you want to be doing this. Oh, they have jabbies? Oh, it's a skirmish cap. That's why. Right. Of course they have jabbies. And now it's two against four, but I'm assuming it's going to be two against three soon. Ooh. Oh, almost. It did manage to get the shield screen up in time to try and uh, give a little bit of a buff to that um, charge bonus. Tell me he's going to chase him. That's the last thing you want to be doing. Because right now, he's winning. Right now, he's winning. I would not be chasing anybody right now. Uh, Royal Scythia has to come to you. Not the other way around. There you go. All right. So, boom. Bounce power is in the favor of the... I can't even say attackers, because they're both attacking. Of Lusitani... Two units left. They could potentially pull this off. There's 90 Lusitani nobles left. That's scary. Uh, but if they can, can successfully, uh, if they can successfully hammer and anvil this, uh, they he has a chance. He has a chance of winning. charge not bad draco has been popped smooth move charge coming in from the scythian royal skirmishers immediately start losing and they have a pretty decent armor value too so melee defense isn't terrible either there you go starting to waver a little bit like to see like seeing that Losing, got a nice little charge, a you know, rear charge rather, into the loose thigh nobles. Oh no, Skirmisher Cavs, go on, get them out of there before they, before they route. Go, 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 go. All right, that's it. Minute left. Now they just have to keep uh, hammering away. He lost 30 guys already in that, in that engagement. So we have Battle Rhythm and Edmund. Yeah, they're going to be exhausted any minute now. I think it's going to go from exhausted to what do you pop? Second wind. God damn it. <laughs> Never mind. 
Big charge. He's just going to keep cycle charging. Love to see it. That's what he's got to do. Keep cycle, cycle charging these guys. Oh, starting to waver. 20 seconds left. These guys are done for it. Yeah, I think if Lusitani had, had boxed up a little bit, then uh, he would have been better off. And he probably would have had a serious chance of winning this. That's it. Hell of a battle. All right. Emperor Kenny Katsu getting 2,510 kills, 114 for the general. Scythian Nobleman, 95, 150, 177, 29, 389 for the Royal Skirmishers. Nice. And then the Step Lancers, 154, 146, 117, 176, uh, 53, 105, 195, 79, 159, 80, and 292. Oh, I didn't say who was playing as who. That's my bad. Big Tasty, 551. I apologize. Uh, for not announcing you on the field of battle uh, initially. So that's my bad. Uh, and yeah, obviously, Emperor Kanikatsu was Royal Scythia. <laughs> uh, 1,275 kills, 193 for the general, not bad. A 6 and 76 for the Sakari Cab. They just got peppered down, unfortunately. Uh, 43, 22, 64, 71 uh, for the Balearics, and then it's 32 for the Iberian Skirmishers. Spearman, 62, 71, 119, 74, 7, and 74. And then Spatari Spears, 65, 52, 62, 48, 82, and 54. Yeah, not bad. Nice, nice little battle. Some good tactics, too, in the beginning. Well played by Royal Scythia for chipping away at the flanks and then moving on it. Really good battle. All right. That's going to be it for me today, guys. Uh, hey, don't forget to join the Discord server and place your votes for who or what faction I should play as. Um, could be fun. I hope it's fun. It'll be fun. It'll be fun. Uh, <laughs> well, anyway, with that being said, have a great day, morning, evening, afternoon, night, whatever time of day it is, wherever you are while you're watching. Just have a good one. Peace out, guys.